Great. Good morning, Emma. What brings you in here today? Well, yesterday we had a game mm -hmm. and uh, I was just going up for a kick and I planted on my right side mm -hmm. and kicked with my left. And as I was going to kick and then planted, I heard a pop at my knee. Okay. Um, so you're planting and then out. When did this happen? Uh, it was last night. Last so night. Okay. less than 24 hours ago. Okay. And then were you able to continue playing? No. I went out for the game. Were you able to walk off the field? Uh, yes. Okay. But and they, I saw you walked in here this morning. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anything like this ever happened before to your knee? No. Okay. This is the first time. Um, and you said you heard a pop. Mm -hmm. um, have you had any locking or clicking, catching, giving way, any weird sensations in your knee? Um, I mean, it's only been a few hours, but I would say like the clicking and popping for like a little bit. Yeah. But I would say more like I haven't really felt stable walking on it. Mm -hmm. I think that's more of like what I've been experiencing. Yeah. Okay. We'll get to the bottom of that. All right. Can you tell me about the pain in your knee on the scale of zero to 10, 10 being the most severe? How, how painful is it? Um, I would say last night it was more of like a seven mm -hmm. uh, right now because I've tried to stay off of it mm -hmm. and it's also morning. Um, I probably actually still say it's probably at a seven. Okay. Yeah. So that's quite painful. Mm -hmm. Um, and can you describe the type of pain for me? Uh, it's very deep and achy. Deep and achy. Did you do anything for it yesterday? Any ice, any medications, any elevation? Yes. I iced it, elevated it. And then I did take some Tylenol because I've never experienced this before and I'm mm -hmm. really nervous. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Um, all of those are good things. Um, what makes it worse or better? Anything you've noticed so far? I know it's been, it's only recent. Yeah, no, for real. Um, I think something that I noticed was obviously resting made it feel better. I was off of it and I felt good. Um, when I was walking on it, I felt a little bit more insecure and unstable. Um, I definitely noticed that that was when my pain was spiking. Um, going downstairs is mm. interesting. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um yeah also like turning quickly I would say mm -hmm. like I'm not turning on this like as much as I'm turning on this one okay like I just take steps to turn yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay um and let's take a look at both of your knees here it does look like this one has a little bit of swelling does it look a little swollen to you yes Right. Um, so if you want to scoot back a little bit and just rest, yeah, your rest your legs in. Um, I'm just going to poke around your knee. Okay. I actually don't expect anything to be very tender, but you let me know if it is. So I'm going to poke on the front here and on your kneecap. Anything around your kneecap? Nope. Okay. And this area sometimes is tender with people. How about for you? Yeah. No, not really. Okay, that's good. This is where your MCL is. So we just want to check that out. And over here is your LCL, another ligament of your knee. Any tenderness over here? Nope. Okay, and what about in the back of your knee? You can feel the swelling, but no yeah, tenderness? No. Okay. And then nothing up in your quad? Nope. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of massage your knee a little bit here. Um, what I'm trying to do is see if the swelling is movable or if it all stays on one side. It's called a sweep test. All right, is it all right if we bend your knee a little bit? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna poke it right in here on your joint line. Any tenderness here? No. Okay, how about here? No. Okay, that's great. So over those structures. All right, next thing we're going to do is just check your range of motion. Okay. And since we have you here already, um, I'm just going to pick your knee up here and then bend it backwards. You tell me how far is comfortable. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Can you go farther? I feel like, I feel like I'm going to start feeling pain, so I'm a little apprehensive to it. Yeah. Okay. And you can straighten it out all the way? Yeah. Good. Like swelling might be blocking a little bit of it, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm just going to compare on this side. Okay, so you have a little bit more flexion range of motion there, and then you can extend all the way. 
want to take a look at the strength of your knee. I think that's going to be easiest if you sit up and with your knees hanging off the edge of the table. Sounds good. Okay, and so we'll start this with your good leg over here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand here and you're going to extend your leg up okay. and I'm going to resist you and then I'm going to resist you as you pull it back down. Okay. Okay, so extend up for me. Up, 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 up. And pull back down. It's nice and strong. Great. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. If it's too painful, you can stop. Okay. Um, all right, so push up. Okay, and then pull back down. All right, so it's a four out of five on strength. Uh, was it just hard to push or was it painful? I think it was painful and I was nervous. Nervous about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah that is totally normal. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna have you scoot back one more time. Okay. And we're going to test out all the ligaments of your knee. If you okay. want to lay back down. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is called a Lachman's test. So I want you to relax your legs. So if I were to let go, it would just fall on the table, but I won't let go. Right. It feels like there's a little bit of laxity there. Um, this next one tests your ACL as well. All right, I'm gonna come around and do those on the other side so I can compare. Again, try and relax for me as much as you can. doing that anterior drawer on this side, I forgot to do the posterior drawer. So just relax, push posterior. There you go. Posterior is nice and strong. All right, I'm gonna test those ligaments on the inside and outside of your knee next. Okay. Um, let me know if it's painful. I'm looking for looseness. So I'm gonna do it once here with your knee straight. Once with your knee slightly bent. Any pain with that? Good. I'm just going to compare to this knee and see how it would feel normally. Okay, those all feel great to me, so that's good news. All right, next we're going to check your meniscus. around in a circle like this, it's a little odd feeling. Other than feeling weird, is this all right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Do a couple more tests. All right, those are most of the tests I need to do. I'm gonna do just a couple more things just to make sure we've ruled everything out before we start talking about what I think is going on. All right, do you want to sit up or lay down? Whichever is more comfortable. Okay. Well, let's talk about what I think is going on with your knee. 